appreciate you guys being here on a holiday weekend like this. You know, our fans were great today. It's great to have Caleb back back on the court. I missed him. Uh, but I really thought, and he's the appropriate guy to have here, Jalen gave us great energy off the bench and, and you know, did some really good things, as did Wolf and, and those guys. So, um, you know, everyone contributed. Good win here. Um, a lot of guys playing valuable minutes in his absence and in Paul's absence. Uh, hope that bodes well for us moving forward. Looking forward to having Paul back, too, on the court, you know, hopefully soon. Steve, as someone who has spent now going on five years with Caleb, what is it like for you to see him get back on the court? And what does it do for the spirits of the team? Well, I mean, you saw, you know, the energy he just brings. Um, you know, I think he's the best defender in the country, too. You know, he's going to have to get his timing back and everything, but he causes, you know, major disruption on the other end of the floor. His athleticism, his quick hands, he knows our system as well as anybody. And I love the fact that I can play him almost at any position. He knows all the positions while our young guys are figuring out just one position. He knows five positions. So um, it's just great to have him back. He gives me, you know, he gives me a lift. And, and uh, you know, we've missed him. But uh, glad he's healthy now. And, and, and hopefully uh, he stays healthy for a, a long time. Steve, Jalen also had a career high six points today. What did you see from him today? I thought, first of all, he was locked in, the great energy off the bench. Um, you know, I thought he was locked in defensively. These guys take a zillion threes. You know, they average nine, almost nine and a half threes per game. We held them to three threes. He was a big part of that, you know, keeping guys out of the lane. Um, and he did a good job on the offensive end. You know, when we needed him, he got rose up in the lane, hit a nice jump shot, and made his free throws, you know. So real pleased with, with what he gave us. And he's been playing well for us, too, in, in the absence of, of Paul and, and, and Caleb. Hi, Steve. Uh, two, two things, Steve. Uh, early in that second half, you had to call timeout after a quick run by Central Connecticut State. Yeah. What did you tell your guys in that moment? Well, I subbed, subbed some guys in. I needed some energy, and you know, I just thought these guys gave them a, a real lift. And, and uh, you know, this three, these two guys and, and Wolf came in and really, you know, did a really good job on both ends of the floor. You know, you have lows like that. You don't want to have those. And, and moving forward, you got to play 40 minutes, but. Um, you know, give Central credit. I mean, I've known Pat for a long time. You know, they can really score and they can make threes in a hurry. And when they got real small guards, they kind of got in the lane on us. And, you know, they had a nice, a nice run there. But uh, we were able to kind of settle down with the bench. And then now five wins in six games. What have you learned about your team through this stretch at the start of the season? And what areas do you want to see there to be improvement? Yeah. I mean, you know, we're very different than we've been in the past. We change up defenses a lot. I mean, we can do a lot of different things. He brings another level of versatility too to our to our defense. But you know, today I like 19 assists without Paul Mulcahy, who's the leading assist guy in our conference. You know, we share the game. You know, and I think again, our guys have gotten some valuable minutes. Derek and, and Wolf, um, you know, trying to figure out how to play college basketball. Steve, can you just talk about this stretch coming up? Now you got Miami, Ohio State, Indiana, Seton Hall. How important is this? maybe get some wins for your NCAA tournament resume and how much are you guys looking forward to these games? Yeah, I mean, you know, we look forward to every game, you know, on our schedule. And, you know, Miami's an Elite Eight team. So, um, you know, you got to go on the road. There are, you know, all different challenges um, that we're going to have. And uh, we're excited about, you know, excited about that. And uh, as we are, you know, every game, you see our league scores, you know what our league is. So. You know, every game moving forward is important, and and uh, these non-conference games are very important too. Okay, what about you? Just are you looking forward to some of these non-conference tests you got coming up? Yeah, of course, man. Just like you said, we could take it just one game at a time, uh, and we definitely know what's ahead. But at first, we got Miami, so we're just gonna go down there and take care of business. Steve, you alluded to this in your opening remarks, but the, the with the guys injured, created opportunity for other players. Your freshmen specifically, how do you think they handled the opportunity and the, the minutes they got? What kind of growth have you seen? I mean, yeah, I think they really grew too. And, you know, there's nothing better than game film to really teach a guy. They've been better in practice too. Um, but, yeah, I think you guys said Wolf got, when he get nine points today? I mean, he, you know, he, he has some abilities, and obviously Derek does. And, and you saw Antonio too come off the bench. But Cam's new to us too, and, and thankful for his, you know, contributions. I mean, he's been as good. As good a player as I think there is in the conference, so um, you know we got to get Paul back. Obviously, the leading assist guy and, and a huge voice for our program. 
Um, hopefully he'll see, heal soon, and, and, and those young guys got valuable minutes that we're going to need them moving forward. Uh, you, you mentioned Paul. Is he is he practicing but not clear for contact? But where is he at? Yeah, that's where he's at. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, question for the players. Yeah, Absolutely. So Caleb, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> the emotions of walking on the court, hearing the crowd cheer when you check in, getting out there, hitting your first shot. What was that like for you emotionally? Man, it felt good, man. I've been out these last six weeks. Uh, I have maybe about three or four practices, and um, it just felt good to be back out there with my teammates, my brothers, and um, and just hearing the crowd, you know, cheer and stuff. So it was definitely a, a great feeling being back. And Jalen, career high today, six points. We, we know about the other things you do. You also had three rebounds. I'm sure that'll come up in the film room. But what's it like for you to contribute in all the phases of the game? What kind of growth and step forward is this type of game for you? Um, I think this is a, a big step forward for me, but uh, I would like to thank my teammates, you know, because all throughout practice, Coach Pike has been uh, preaching, you know, getting the ball up the floor and really sharing the game, and I think we did that today, followed the game plan. So they definitely contributed a lot to my career high today. Thanks. Uh, Steve, somebody else, Mawat Mack, he had season high in points and a team high in rebounds. It seems like his offensive game this year, from what I've seen, has, has grown a lot. Where have you seen it grow in offense? Well, I tell you, I mean, he's he works, you know. And we have a good group of workers, but if you pop your head over at the APC any time of the day, you're, you know, you're going to see him in, in the gym. He can really shoot the ball. His mid-range game is really good, but he's a high-energy guy, and he helps us with the defensive end. He helps us on the offensive end, too, and he's grown, I mean, you know, he did some of these things last year. Just we had Ron Harper, you know, like at that same spot, you know. And so we knew he could play. And now he's getting an opportunity to play real minutes. And he's, he's taking advantage of it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.